It's Thursday, September 14th. You're listening to your Florida Daily. I'm Katrina Scales. Florida's top doctor is now going against the CDC when it comes to the updated vaccine for COVID-19. The FDA and CDC signed off on the new shots from Pfizer and Moderna earlier this week, recommending everyone six and up get them. But yesterday, Florida Surgeon General Dr. Joseph Latipo announced he's not recommending the shots for anyone under 65. He says they lack human clinical trials and any evidence that they're safe and effective. With virtually every walking human being having some degree of immunity and the questions we have about safety and about effectiveness, especially about safety, my judgment is that it's not a good decision. The CDC has previously criticized Dr. Latipo, saying his warnings about the risk of the vaccine are, quote, harmful to the American public. A Brevard County man accused of hanging swastikas and other anti-Semitic banners on an I-4 overpass is now out of jail after posting bond. State agents took 48-year-old Jason Brown into custody on Tuesday. They say he's one of at least four people who put up the derogatory signs along the Daryl Carter Parkway Bridge back in June, violating a new state law meant to crack down on the display of hateful messages. This also isn't the first time Brown has been arrested. Last year, he was accused of stealing and damaging a Jewish student's cell phone while participating in an anti-Semitic demonstration in Orange County. Then-State Attorney Monique Worrell, though, later dismissed the charges. The new board in charge of Disney's government district says it needs more time before deciding on benefits for its workers. But they say free passes to the parks will be going away. The free tickets have been a perk for employees and retirees for years under the old Reedy Creek Improvement District. But the new board appointed by Governor DeSantis says it costs them millions every year and not everyone uses them. Because there was a bad practice and a bad policy, in our opinion, okay, uh, of that policy, we're going to discontinue it. But we don't want that to punish any of the employees. Board members say they're considering other options, like a $1,400 stipend instead. More details are expected at a meeting at the end of the month. Find these top stories along with breaking news, weather, and traffic all day on ClickOrlando.com. And now, a completely random Florida fact. Speaking of tourism, the nation's first tourist welcome center was built in Florida. As access to personal automobiles and the creation of interstate highways rose, more visitors began traveling to Florida. Visitors as far away as Michigan could travel the Dixie Highway into Florida. And in 1949, just south of the Florida-Georgia line in Yulee, the first hospitality house was opened. This provided an opportunity for local Floridians to welcome and educate travelers about Florida. Your Florida Daily is produced by News 6 WKMG in Orlando. I'm Katrina Scales. Subscribe for new episodes wherever you like to listen.